almost done with the Old Testament. Let's get right to it because Zephaniah means defended by God. And that's what this book does, and that's what you're going to be reminded of after reading it. Author, clearly, chapter 1, verse 1, is listed as the prophet Zephaniah. Date written is between 735 and 725 B.C. Purpose of writing, well, Zephaniah had a message of judgment and encouragement, really. Um, and I would break it down into three sections, three main messages. One, God is in control. Two, the wicked are going to be punished. And three, the righteous are going to be blessed. Zephaniah was just a guy who spoke what was on God's heart. You know, bluntly. Uh, the book begins with the word of the Lord, and it ends with, says the Lord. And, you know, honestly, we need more people like that today. If you were to take the book of Zephaniah and just change the names and the situations, this message could be preached in pulpits everywhere, in Washington, in the media. You know, it's a, it's a good message for today um, that God loves you, but he's going to deal with you and your sin because ultimately his judgments are merciful. Have you ever thought about it like this, that God is offended at your sin? That he loves you so much that he does not understand why you keep going back to the same things and the same habits again and again and again. He created you for more than that. And perhaps really that is our practical application for today. We've gotten out of order. We went straight from purpose of writing into practical application because I think really they're one and the same today. So let me just close then with a key verse. How about that? It's from Zephaniah 3.17. You may have heard it quoted and not known where it is. It says, The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. <laughs> That's beautiful. I wasn't planning that today. I guess God threw that one in for free. I'm glad I did this pin code out here today. It wasn't coincidence. I guess it was providence. All right. God does love you. God does want more for us than we often allow for ourselves or want to give ourselves. Do it God's way. It's a lot easier. It's a lot more fun. All right. I'm Laura Harris-Smith. I will see you tomorrow on today's Daily Pin Code.